Golfers and their club makers have been measuring how a golf shaft bends as long as there have been club makers. The first profile tool that I knew of was a deflection board. I've seen the deflection board used by Hogan's club maker in the UST R&D lab. This is a modern version of that instrument made by golf mechanics. The shaft is clamped at the handle here and a weight is applied at the tip. And you can see how this shaft is bending down and this happens to be an X-flex shaft and I've marked on this board X-flex and I've traced along here where this X-flex shaft lies. Now I'm going to change the shaft and I'm going to put on an S-flex shaft. And what's important as you do this is that you maintain what I would call the beam length or the section from this part of the clamp to the tip where you're going to apply the weight. And with this shaft on and the weight applied, you see that it comes to my S mark. So this is an S flex shaft. Let's put on an R flex now. So now, with the R-Flex shaft installed, we can see that it comes down to this mark. Now, this is actually a very, very effective way of measuring golf shaft stiffness. In fact, there is a much more sophisticated version of this machine used by many of the golf club OEMs. And shaft companies that want to supply shafts to them have to use exactly the same machine. So this is not what we would call an obsolete standard. This is actually used inside the business. I'm going to take a graphite design shaft now and put it on the board. And this is an S-Flex. So here we have a graphite design TP. This is the 2016-2017 um, latest shaft from graphite design. S-flex shaft, and lo and behold, it falls very, very close to that S-flex mark that we saw in the Mitsubishi shafts. So, you know, that goes to say that if you're, in fact, selling shafts to the club-making business, that there are some standards that are established with deflection boards and that shaft companies actually meet those standards. Now, let's look at an old shaft. I found this shaft in the shop. This is a Speeder 553 from maybe seven, eight years ago, maybe older than that. Let's put that on the board. It's an R-Flex and see where it falls. And look at that. This old R-Flex shaft is sitting between R and S. Well, what is that saying to us? It's saying basically that over time, the definition of R has gotten a little lower. So shafts have gotten a little bit softer over time. Okay, so as you've seen, the shaft is clamped at the handle, a weight is put on the tip, and the shaft bends. The amount of bend is read from the chart behind the shaft, and the number is assigned to a stiffness, or more commonly a letter, L, A, R, S, or X. What one decides each of these letters mean is arbitrary, and there was no way to automate this process. But actually, a few years ago, advances in cameras made it possible to image the shaft while deflecting it and analyze the image. But that image is not much different than a deflection board used by Hogan's club maker many years ago. Deflection boards remain a low-cost way to rate over all shaft stiffness. More precise deflection instruments are used by many club companies and by the shaft companies that supply them. For some club companies, they are the standard. This particular board is sold by Golf Mechanics, and it looks like they might be getting discontinued due to lack of interest. As of the making of this video, the site says seven left.